Okay, this problem deals with multiple, um, take, getting rid of exponents and how we deal with their positives and their negatives. Before you start simplifying this problem, go ahead and put a denominator of one. What this does, it helps us identify where the exponent should go. This has a positive three, it stays in the numerator. A positive four stays on the numerator, while the one that has the negative needs to be moved to the denominator. Any power that has a negative moves to its opposite location. So I start with the first one. This remains the same. I simplify the second one. This becomes 1 over 2 to the positive 2 power. And then the last one remains the same. Now I start collecting all of my terms that are the same. Obviously, I have 2 to the third, and I have a 2 to the fourth. So this is telling me I have three twos. Well, this one's telling me I have four twos, so that's a total of two to the seventh power. You're probably asking what happened to the one. When you can multiply by one will be itself. And the denominator, since I have a one, it's gonna be a one, and I only have two twos based on the power. Now we reach this point. The answer is not one, because even though we have two over two, you're gonna ask yourself, who has more, the numerator or the denominator? Obviously, you can see the numerator has more because it has seven compared to two. How many more does it have? This one ends up having five more. And since we're working with a denominator, I put a denominator of one. Your answer might be left as two to the fifth, or they might ask you to simplify it. One, two, three, four, five. This gives you four, this gives you four, 4 times 4 gives you 16, times 2 gives you a 32 for an answer. So be careful when you're looking for the answer. It might be 2 to the 5th or 32. Obviously, the 1 would not be there for the final answer.